This is a great company and we have everyone from senior level people who have been in the industry for 30 years to, to new, new engineers coming out of college. And the career paths are very, uh, very interesting here. You can take a very technical focus route and become an expert in a specific subject matter, meaning someone can, 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 can learn on a specific robot model and become the best they can be and for five years just work on that one robot and be a subject matter expert. Then we have a generalist category where you can, you can work on a variety of different robots and, be, and, and continue with, with all, a variety of different applications that exposes you to all the technologies that are out there. We also have different learning paths for people who go into automation engineering careers where they know a little bit about PLCs and robotics. And if at some point they get into a point where they want to understand the details of upfront processing and simulation, we can use those programming practices and start driving those into the upfront uh, uh, process engineering prior to the equipment being ordered on the floor. The college grads, there's, there's a couple key areas we're looking for. One is technical ability. How do they perform throughout their college career and their ability to learn? Number two is hands-on and willingness to put in the time. It's work ethic. We want to make sure that people understand the career and the job that they're getting into. It's not easy. There's long hours involved in this industry. There's uh, uh, a variety of technical challenges. We want people who are up to the challenge, who, who continually strive to get to the next level. Number three is energy. We want people who are enthused about robotics and robotic automation. We, we, we're looking for engineers who live and breathe in the passion within this industry. Coming off of a project or moving on to, to a new assignment, we have what we call a technical training lab. This allows them to get exposed to new technology or new robot models that they haven't currently used. And we do it in a fun environment. We have a, a very structured curriculum that puts them through uh, a very rigorous process of, of training material. And along the way, we challenge them with specific assignments, whether it's uh, you know, some software that, that we throw a couple monkey wrenches in, or just along the way, continually challenge them.